Today I am going to share with you all of my best tips for upping your havingness level. Hi guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. I am a life coach and law of attraction teacher and you have found my YouTube channel where I upload two new videos a week all about the art of creating your best life ever. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss anything, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to share with you guys my three step process for upping your having this levels. And first I'm going to explain what a having this level is because you probably haven't heard anyone talk about that before. So I want you guys to look around the room you're sitting in right now, look around at your life, look around at where you are right now. And I want you to be really honest. Is your having this level where it needs to be? So if you found this channel, there might be a good chance that it isn't where it needs to be. And I want you to know, first of all, that that is totally okay. It is totally normal and that there are things that we can do practical actions we can take to get your havingness back up to where you want it to be. So your havingness level is basically your minimum standard for your life. So we all have a minimum standard. We all create our lives in between the standards of the lowest thing that we will accept and the highest thing we can accept. And when you start to just nudge those levels up little by little, your life is going to improve gradually over time. So what are things that we can have issues with having this about? We can definitely have low issues of having this with relationships. Um, for example, I'm sure that you maybe have a friend who dates people that treat them really terribly. And maybe you look at this person and think, there is no way I would ever put up with that. And that is true. You would never put up with that. But that friend puts up with that. That is because their having this level, their worthiness level, is way below yours. So the same thing applies to your money, to your career, to your house. It applies to everything. So what you can start to do if things aren't quite where you want them to be is that we can start to work on increasing our having this levels, increasing our standards until our new standards are way higher than they used to be and then that is when your life will start to look completely different. So the real reason I like to think about having this levels as this little kind of thing that we inch up gradually over time it's because I find that is so much easier and so much more effective than trying to jump from here to here. So most of us need a little time to adjust our mentality, to adjust our mindset, to be this person who occupies the world in a different way, who asks for more in life, who settles for better relationships. That takes time, that takes practice. So if you set little goals and you start expanding yourself up gently, and it might not seem like that much movement in the beginning, but over time you will see how you gradually set new standards for yourself and you gradually achieve them, and your life became crazy amounts better because of it. So if you guys are excited to learn about my three-step process, stay tuned because we are about to dive in. So step number one for increasing your havingness levels is simply to decide on what kind of life you want to have. And this kind of part of any goal setting lesson is one of my favorite things to do. Um, it's kind of dream setting, goal setting. It's using your imagination to think of bold new things for yourself. And I really want you guys to sit down with a blank piece of paper and get really excited about this and write yourself out some juicy goals and make sure that they are juicy. The whole point is that we are going for something that makes us feel really good. And I think a lot of the times people's having this levels are low because we haven't even bothered to set a new standard. We haven't bothered to think about how far we can go. So of course you're not going to go that far if you're not dreaming big. So please dream big write it all down, think about what kind of life you want to live, the kind of person you want to be, the kind of body you want to have, the kind of house you want to live in, the kind of job you want to have, the money you want to have in the bank. Think of all the things and just write them on a piece of paper. Go for it, get really crazy and wild and make sure that you are excited about what you are writing down. Okay, step number two for upping your having this levels. Now we are going to take a second piece of paper 
and you're going to put it down on the table next to the first piece of paper that has your crazy awesome list of goals. And now I want you to let the little negative voice in your head start to creep in. And when you look at this crazy list of amazing, awesome stuff, I want you to start writing down the fears that come up to your head on the other piece of paper. So with every goal in life, no matter how crazy, awesome, and amazing it might be, there is always a downside. So our subconscious mind is really good at thinking about the negatives. It is really good at talking you out of the things you really want. So I don't want you guys to talk yourselves out of anything. I don't want you to cross out anything on your want list. What I want you to do is get really clear about the fears that are coming up for you. And we're just writing them down. I'm not making you run out there and face anything right now. I just want you to get really clear about the fears that are coming up for you. And I want you to go through them step by step and just write down as many fears as you can think of for everything that you have written on this piece of paper. And it might take you a while. You might need a lot of paper. That is totally okay. Take your time with this and just go through your fears as best you can. Okay, step number three for upping your having this levels. Now that you have this piece of paper that has all of your fears on it, I want you to take one look at it. I want you to read it through one time, maybe read it through out loud, maybe even read it out loud to a friend or send your friend a voice, a voice memo recording of you saying everything out loud. Once you have gone through this one more time, and you might want to wait a day or two to do this, go through it again, I want you to either rip up the piece of paper or burn it. And I like burning things. I love burning things over the kitchen sink. So that is my personal preference. But if you don't want to do that, go ahead and rip it up. But I want you to physically rip up this evidence you have of your fears. And I know that this might sound like a silly thing to do, like ripping up a piece of paper obviously isn't going to do anything in the real world. But this is a powerful act, and I want you to think about when you're doing this of you releasing your fears back. Like you've acknowledged them, you've seen where they come from, you've seen how they're trying to get in your way, and you are purposefully putting up your hand and saying no. You are letting them go back, you are acknowledging them for what they are, and not letting them get in your way. And this is just a ritual, it's a symbolic act, but I really, really ask you guys to try this out give it a shot, see what burning those fears or ripping them up into little bits, see what that makes you feel like. And it is this feeling of having control. It is this feeling of control, being in control and knowing you are in control that is so powerful, which is why I think this exercise is really important to do even if you think it sounds kind of crazy. Okay, so that's it. But hopefully doing this exercise, writing out those fears will make you remember those fears and recognize them more when they actually come into your reality. And of course, the process of actually getting through those fears is going to take more than burning a piece of paper. But this is just, but please think of this as just your symbolic first step forward in facing your fears and knowing that you are have fears and that you can get beyond them, that you are fighting through them anyways, and that you know that your dreams are worth it. Because they are worth it, you guys. They are so worth it. And expanding your having this is a process, but I really think that this is a great way to kick things off and to get really clear on the things that you want so you can start to call them into your life. So that's the video for today. I really hope this simple exercise helps you guys out so much. It is so important to get your having this level on the level of the things you want. That is when the true magic happens. So anything you can do in order to expand your sense of worthiness is super important to your manifesting. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you got something out of it, please hit the like button. That would help me out so much. If you want to learn more about me, please come on over to the site at www.thealignlife.co. I'll be back here soon in another video. So until then, I'm wishing you an amazing, powerful week. Go out there, manifest like crazy, and just remember, get ready for the miracle. Namaste.